Two core tone with the DH2. Hey. All right, um, so we're gonna get started right on time. It's, it's almost nine, if not nine now. So we're gonna begin with a warm up. I know that I'm waiting on some people, but we're not gonna wait too long. Trying to adjust. Also, if you have any suggestions on what, what my screen, what your screen looks like, let me know and I can try my best to make sure that everybody has a clear view of what's going on. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna just stay on perfect DH2 for now. We're gonna start with some high knees, okay? We're going for 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna get a nice, good work, uh, warm up and workout in. Ha, yell that. All right, keep going. I'm gonna get this timer on so I stay on track. Good. All right, guys, and feel free to play your own tunes, okay? It's totally fine by me. Mine and I are gonna stay off just so y'all can hear me more, okay? So for today's set, usually uh, sets, usually what I do is I start with lower body and then we transition to core, okay? It's kind of what I did yesterday and the day before. I really did like a nice, chunk of upper body core, let's go to kickbacks, and then I did a nice chunk of lower body core. So today we're gonna to start with upper body core. We're gonna really nail her in there for about half the class, and then for the remaining half, we're gonna do lower body core, okay? Just, just, you know, spice it up, switch it up, why not? Keep things interesting. We're still gonna get the whole body, and we're gonna get some cardio in. I know how much you guys love those little tiny sprints, I have added more of them. <laughs> Woo, okay. So we're gonna get nice and sweaty. If you have a towel close by, and five more seconds of these guys. Three, two, and one. Fantastic, okay. Hop on your tread. So, still warming up, still warming up. You're gonna start with a nice overhead circle with your upper body. Okay, let me know if you can see. Place it in the back on the treadmill. I'm gonna go rapid push, switch sides. Stand, overhead circle, in one direction, switch, rapid push, okay? Keep going, overhead, going, and two, nice job. And 10 more seconds. Woo! And three, two, one, okay, now we're gonna keep the arms, but you're going the opposite direction, okay? Just the upper body. All right. Really reaching behind you as much as you can, bring your fingers all the way up and then forward. 15 seconds. Good. Good work, guys, three. And two, and one, nice work. Okay, warming up the chest, we're gonna cross and then pull it back. Cross in front, pull it back, okay? Still staying on the front. Chris, and open. Cross, open. Good, make sure you switch your arms on top. Like I said, we're starting with upper body today, so that's why we are warming up the arms a little bit. Chest, back, all that good stuff. Three, and two, and one, finito. Nice job, guys. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna go and grab a pair of weights, something you can typically use for your biceps, your triceps, and some shoulder work. We're not gonna be doing too many of these overhead presses. Shoulders are gonna be mainly focusing on the treadmill, okay? Grab your weights. All right. So something on the functional side, I'm going to be using two weights today, but you're really trying to get my muscles to work for me. So first one, we're going to do a full curl, okay, into a high knee, upper body core, curl, high knee, perfect, curl, high knee, keep alternating for 30 seconds, down, up, bring it up, nice work. I'm keeping my weights up as I do my high knee. My 
my knee is forward as well. I'm breathing out as I drag my knee in. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, one for good luck. Nice job, okay. Drop the weights on the side. We're going to shift, okay? So, on the hands first. Got nice and hot in here. You're on the hands. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Just the plane shift. Three, two, and one. Good, push and pull. Try to keep those hips low, bellies nice and high. Still pulling my belly button into my low back. Seconds here. She's gonna be a little closer. Okay, that looks good. Okay, sprinting. Let's bring our speed, sorry, our mode to speed. Okay, we're trying to get to 11.5 or higher this time, okay? So we're sprinting, you're gonna run fast enough to see that 11.5 or more pop up, okay? On your screen. Three, two, one, let's do it. Make sure that curl, you're actually fully 
releasing towards your like quad area, okay, before you bring it down. 10 seconds. Nice job. And last one. One more for good luck. <laughs> good, okay. Drop the weight. Great shoot. On the hands, okay? High plank. Three, two, and one. Plank shift on the hands. This time, we're going a little bit further. Further forward. Ten seconds. If anything, modification, you can do this on the knees too, guys. Okay? Totally fine. Also, like a different mod is one like that. Okay, my lovely ladies, keep going. Ten more seconds here. We're going to go into our single arm push. Okay? In five, four, three, two, and one. Right goes on the side. Let's start pushing with our left. Three. Really make that tread work. You want to hear that sound. We're not sinking into the shoulders either. Really bracing against them. Five, four, three, two, one, other. Whoop! Side. Good work. Try and keep your upper back lifted.
okay? So each time you do your triceps, it's when you lift your leg up. Okay, 30 seconds. Three, two, and one, let's go. Lifting the leg, finding that moment of stability. Tricep kickback happens. Release all the way before you switch sides. Nice. and press the weights behind you. Good work. Remember, there's a nice, gentle grasp around your weights. Good. Five, four, three, two, one more for good luck. Release. Yeah, good job, guys. Okay, so here, hands are going on the floor. We're still shifting in high plank. Toes are on the treadmill here. Okay, so typically we would go like atomic crunch here. This time we're not. We're still moving from the upper body. Okay, so I'm still moving from my hands. Oh, geez, that's hard. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. In three, two, <laughs> one, let's go. Shift it. Yeah. Back in. Oh, yeah. Good. Pulling the belly in, squeezing the quads can definitely be done from the knees. Okay. Do the double glute raise. It's fine with me. You don't have to stack your hips over your head. 
by any means. Okay, three, two, and one. Okay, fight. Really lift that pelvis up. Keep the legs straight. Glute raise, other side. Five. Down, up, switch. that belly up and in. Keep that balance. Bending the bottom knee a little bit. And always keep the toe on the floor. Three, two, one. And one for good luck. Lift. Nice. Good job, ladies. Drop that. Drop it, drop it. Okay. Oh, time to spend around two minutes on the hands. All right, let's do it. So, starting with your high plank shift, okay? Pushing the heel of the hand into the floor, keeping the elbow slightly bent. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Three, two, and, okay. So I'm really trying to keep my shoulders apart. Okay, my shoulder wings, let's call them, apart. By lifting my upper back through the wings, really pressing it into the ceiling, I'm using that spot, serratus muscles, to really help me do this, okay? And it's great when we work our back ladies too, because it gives that illusion of having a smaller waist. You want cinched waist? Work your back. Work your back. I guarantee you, it helps. So keep that shoulder, keep those shoulders open. Press the serratus through into the ceiling. Ah, she burns. Almost through. Five, four, uh, three, two, one. Release. Just for a moment, because we're doing our rapid push, we're gonna start with the left leg pushing first. Okay, right leg's just gonna stay on the side pad. Ooh. Move that body around. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Let's go. Right on the side. Left is pushing. Three, two, 
One. Good. Keep that upper back lifted. Try and keep up with my speed. If you're faster, I applaud you. <laughs> Good. Full range motions, though, each time. Full bend, full extend. Ten.
pulsing the vibes. Keep them shoulders nice and wide. 15 seconds left. belly button up. We have five more seconds here. We're gonna go up to our knees now. Three, two, last one. Oh, solid. Okay, so you're placing one leg in front and you're leaning forward over the leg. Okay, so it's like a primal lunge. My knee's still on the mat, stepping forward. I lean forward. Now I'm gonna keep my left one up as high behind my hip as possible as I do 10 tricep kickbacks with my right, okay? We're gonna automatically switch the legs after we're done this right side. Let's go. Lifting left. Three, two, one. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five, good work. Six, four more. Seven, eight, squeeze that tricep. Nine, ten. Oh, other side. Same thing here. Left is doing the work, right is chilling. Up high. Three, two, one. Two, three. Shift some weight forward. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slow release. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness that's done. Okay. Hallelujah. Drink some water. We're going to finish off with lower body and cardio. Oh, to get you sweating even more than you already are. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. All right, guys, 10 second break to catch your breath. I need to drink my energy juice. 
All right, guys, we're going to go into a deep slider. Sorry about that. Going into a deep slider in your right side, okay? Weight shift, we're calling it. So you're trying to get as deep into that back hip as you possibly can. 30 seconds has started, okay? Keeping your back legs straight. Ooh, yeah, okay, there we go. Through, yeah. And really encourage that hip to go back. Perfect, both hips to stay forward. Good, five, oh yeah. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Really good work, guys. Bring your weight up into your chest. Like so, holding it like a goblet squat. Right leg stays on the floor. You're gonna get into a deep squat. You're gonna tap the floor with your left into the push. Tap and push. Okay, try to stay low. Let's go for three, two, and one. Toe tap, toe push. Left toe is doing the tapping and pushing. I'm holding my right. Pull that belly in. Ten seconds. Five. Good. Four. Three. Two. One. Brace. Yeah. Drop the weight on the floor. I know I'm a little crazy this morning. That's okay. We're going to our sprint for 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go 12.5 this time or higher. Okay. I know we can do it. In three, two, one, here we go.
Okay, grab your weight, other side. Drop, pick up. This time, right leg is starting first. Doing, grab your push into your front lunge. Drop the weight on the floor. Okay. Three, two, and one. Okay, wrap your push. Stepping forward, right lunge. Breathe out to pick it up. Thirty seconds.
push, and three, two, and one. Let's go. Pressing through the heels. Same thing is still happening. I'm really thinking about my hips going back. Push through. That's it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why do I sound like, like the Hulk or like one of those like weird bodybuilding men?
Okay, guys. One more time. Grab your tonic. Drop it back. Okay, rapid push in the upper body. Three. Toes are wide. Hips are wide. One, three, two. And drop. Pick up my sound. I'm about to die. That's literally because I am. Yeehaw! Let's keep going. Okay, so remember what I talked about. Knees are going open to the sides. Belly's in. Back is nice and straight. Use your legs to lift the weight. Realistically, could probably do this with 40 pounds, okay? Because of my lower body, not because I'm confusing anything else. Oh, three, two, one. Squeeze. Weight shift. Let's do it. Our weight stays with us the whole entire time here. Okay? Going for 30. Three, two, and one. Squeeze. Think about this as a deadlift too, okay? You're sitting back, and then the knees take you down. Back sit, knees go, yeah. Pushing through the heels. Those outer thighs, outer glutes. Five, four. We're gonna do a rapid push to that heel raise, pulse. In three, two, one. Bring your weight up to your chest. This time, left leg does the push. Open to the left. Keep that heel off. Deep squat. It's gonna get more of that inner thigh. Okay, keep going guys, 30 seconds.
leg doesn't have to be completely straight. You can rest the knee on the floor and try and get down as close to the ground as possible. Okay. We're gonna breathe in through the nose. Drop that head. Really inhale through that upper back. Take a moment to really thank your body for taking you through this workout. And exhale. Really try and let go of that neck. Take a deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, you're gonna go up into downward dog. Okay, opening the legs out too. Hip width or more. Okay, here. Try to get my hips up high as possible. My head is right dangling in between my elbows. Okay, I'm trying my best to keep my shoulders away from my ears. And letting those ribs just hang through. Yeah, good. And drop the heels. Try to find space in the spine, in between those vertebra. Good. And on your exhale, you're gonna lean forward. You're gonna move into pigeon pose, other side. Okay, other leg. For me, that's left. And finding a little comfortable space where you can just sit there and hang out. You're going to move yourself down to the floor. Nice work. Okay. Just breathing. Let's drop the head. Breathing in through the nose. Just going to let that breath, hold that breath. Allow it to expand into your whole body. Every little part. The back of the neck is going into the middle of your spine. Okay, your ribs, your shoulders. That breath is just continuously expanding. Okay, so keep breathing in. Keep breathing in and out. You don't have to forcibly hold that breath in there. If you need to, you know, exhale, do it. Ah. Add a few vocalized sighs in. On your last exhale, we're gonna come up to the hands, back to downward dog. Okay, here we go, hand strength. Same idea here. Shoulders are dangling, uh, head is dangling. Shoulders are far away from those ears. You're pulling your navel in as you breathe into the ribs. Driving your hips and your sit bones up to the ceiling. Finally lowering your heels for that extra calf stretch. Try and look directly in between through the legs with your head. Breathe in through the ribs. Exhale, bring those knees down. Let's just do a quick shoulder stretch, folks. Okay, drive one arm oh, 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 across. Okay, and just let that shoulder chill in its socket. Okay, make sure it's not right up and by your chin. You wanna chill it out. Thank you guys so much for doing this online live class <laughs> with me. Oh, it's so great to have people, you know, still wanting to work out, you know, and it's fun. Like we, we get to do this together. It's kind of, kind of cool. Like when, when do you guys see me work out? I know, right? It's nice. <laughs> All right, switching side. It's nice. So I am grateful for this experience. 
that I'm sharing with you virtually, okay? great thank you for responding and you know keeping us up to date about what you're feeling how you're feeling about these classes it's really important to us okay so keep on keeping on keep on messaging <laughs> and exhale all right guys thank you oh that's an hour 10 minutes over okay hopefully that's that's okay with you guys i love you one more have a great rest of your day okay enjoy your weekend and uh, josh is running 6 a.m 10 a.m Tomorrow, I am back Tuesday at 9. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.